Hey, it's Javier, the X-Men in front of the Sherman Heights Community Center, here to learn about their Dia de los Muertos celebration, which is happening on November 2nd. It's a huge community event, and of course, you're invited. Michael Mata is going to be there. In fact, we're going to learn about it right now. Come on, let's go check out the altars. Let's talk to the executive director of the Sherman Heights Community Center. Come on. All right, we're inside the Sherman Heights Community Center's ballroom, and we have Irma Patricia, she's the executive director of the Sherman Heights Community Center. Thanks for letting us come in here and check out this beautiful display of Dia de los Muertos altars. Absolutely, thank you for being here. We're really excited. Now tell us a little bit about the uh, center. So the center has been here over 20 years and um, it was uh, created by community members who still um, volunteer to this day. Um, and so a lot of the programming that happens and a lot of the celebrations that happen at the center are very grassroots. Now this event, the Dia de los Muertos event, how long does it go and, and when does it end? Whoa, okay, so we start planning um, probably I would say like July or August and it goes all the way to November 2nd. So this weekend we have our festival, um, our Dia de los Muertos festival, and it's from 10 to 6. We have uh, different bands. We have Buye Pongo. We have uh, actual banda, Banda 619. We have um, our Ballet Folklorico. And the Danzantes will be here um, at 11 along with the priests to bless the altars. Now the uh, big part of the Dia de los Muertos celebration here at Sherman Heights is the procession, which happens on November 2nd. Tell us about how that all comes about. So that's uh, one of the most amazing things that happens, I believe. Um, the altars are beautiful, obviously, but the procession brings a, a different perspective of community and unity. And so what the procession is, is we all gather here at the center and uh, we bring pictures of our loved ones, we bring candles, and then we all um, walk down 25th through the neighborhoods to Chicano Park where there's even more altars. And so this year what we've done is, um, in the past Centro Cultural de la Raza has joined us. So for people who are closer to Centro Cultural, you can meet there at 5.30. Um, at 5.30, everyone will head this way to Sherman. At 7.30, we'll be leaving these premises, heading down to Chicano Park. And this year we have actually extended the route to include Logan Heights and Barrio Logan. Now does it cost people anything to be part of this event? It does not, and so it's not um, something that we have to fundraise for or a money maker or anything like that. It is really for cultural preservation um, of our traditions, and you know, in a way, we are bringing together different um, communities, and uh, we want everyone who would like to celebrate, you know, their loved ones to come out and you know, bring a candle. Um, feel free to wear your Dia de los Muertos uh, makeup. This is when it's acceptable. And so um, we're really excited. We're really excited to see how many more people we can have this year. So everyone's invited. It's a free event. November 2nd, Dia de los Muertos here at the Sherman Heights Community Center. Come out, bring your whole family, bring your friends, bring your abuelita, uh, bring the next door neighbor, or maybe the guy across the street who's never heard about Dia de los Muertos or is always wondering, you know, what's the fascination with, with all the calaveras? So you could find out about that right here at Sherman Heights Community Center on November 2nd. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up? It's Javier the X. We're here at the Sherman Heights Community Center. We're getting ready to take a nice, beautiful walk to Chicano Park. It's Sherman Heights Community Center's annual celebration for Dia de los Muertos. Tonight, it is the Muertos Procession. All right, so we're getting ready to take a nice walk to Chicano Park. So my fraternity, New Alpha Kappa fraternity volunteers every year, along with the, the Brown Berets, Like official, They're like official. joining us out here. We appreciate you coming along with us on this procession to Chicano Park. And uh, hopefully we get to see you out here next year. Bring the whole family. This is a 
great event. And of course, being brought to you by our friends at the Sherman Heights Community Center.